you guys, it's M4J here and welcome back to M4J Racing here on F1 2020. We are sort of the Blue Bullets. We qualified on pole uh, here in Mexico for the Mexican Grand Prix. However, because I decided to smash into the back of Latifi during the uh, final section of Q1, I think it was, um, I've taken a five place grid penalty and I will be starting in sixth. Yeah, I'm not too fast. Not too fast. The weather looks good not raining which is awesome and here's my grid penalty colliding with another driver during the earlier sessions you've been pushed back five places yes we will see if anyone else has had a penalty of course because if they have then i think that might affect where i start still um but let's get into it go straight into the cutscene. we're going to watch the uh, the magic fighter jets that disappear as soon as they fly overhead you'll see what i mean in a second and yeah i'm really looking forward to this race let's send it from sixth Here we go then, it's time to race in Mexico City, a place which gave Honda their first ever victory back in 1965. American Richie Ginther won from third on the grid. And what are the Honda powered cars this year? Well, Red Bull have been going strong here in recent seasons, so can they keep that record going today? We're a long way above sea level here in Mexico today, which could pose some cooling issues for the cars as they make their way around this 2.6 mile lap. 17 corners with top speeds in excess of 220 miles per hour and watch out for potential overtaking into turns one and four. Anthony Davidson is alongside me as usual for the race today. So let's briefly discuss Lewis Hamilton. There's a real chance they could win the title today. So how do you think they'll handle the pressure? I think as long as they keep their mind on the task and not its historical significance, they'll be just fine. This is a race just like any other. You do the best you can and accept that sometimes things are going to happen outside of your control. If they can approach today with that attitude, the pressure shouldn't be a problem. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and P2 goes to Daniel Ricciardo, a strong showing from the Australian. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Verstappen, Sebastian Vettel and the owner driver. They've taken a grid penalty. Norris, Leclerc, Perez, and Carlos Sainz. Albon, Stroll, Pierre Gasly, and Kvyat. Giovinazzi, Raikkonen, Kevin Magnussen, and Jack Aitken. Russell, Latifi, Grosjean, and Esteban Ocon rounds off the grid. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. Okay, they seem to have patched out the planes. Okay, this is a good opportunity for us to improve on our results from the last race. Let's make it happen. Seems to have patched out the planes. Also, Aitken's moved up because Grosjean and um, Ocon moved down. So, unfortunately for Ocon, he is starting in last. But Aitken, 18th. So, this could be it, lads. Could finish in the points. How cool would that be? I mean, very, but, you know. Uh, right. Let's just go into it. There's not much really I'd want to change with the strategy. Let's not do a Verstappen, eh? And uh, break okay, formation. Our system checks are good. We need to stay in formation and start bringing the car up to temperature, please. Get some load into the tyres and work the brakes. We want them nice and warm by the end of the lap. I'm not normally someone who believes in karma, but after seeing what Verstappen did to Russell on the formation lap last week, I don't know whether Russell just had a bad start off the line and Verstappen didn't know, or Verstappen was just trying to assert dominance. But it was a little bit satisfying to see Verstappen crash out afterwards. Like, all three of us here were laughing. Particularly as Verstappen wasn't even involved in the crash. He just happened to try and drive around it at the time and then ended up smashing into the wall. I genuinely don't think he realised that the tarmac ran out and it was gravel. Okay. Just so you guys know in advance. Radar is clear. Weather is looking good for now. I might be a bit silent for the first couple of laps, apart from celebrating overtakes, if there are any, of course. Because uh, I kind of want to concentrate on getting my position back. Particularly as that's... I, I thought that was Leclerc in front of me. It's not, is it? It's Vettel. Never mind. But I still will be concentrating a lot on trying to get some decent overtakes and just not crashing. Because that's the big thing right now, is just not crashing. Was it 14 laps, I think it said? So I've just got to do this hairpin 14 more times. Alright. 
Reforming grid. Who am I going to drive through or who's going to drive through me? Lando's quite a way back actually, so if I'm going to drive through anyone it's probably going to be Vettel. I'm going to get into concentration position. Now that is Max Verstappen right in front of me. If I could send him as well, that would be nice. All right, I'm getting nervous now. Is forming up. Be patient and watch for the lights. I get really pumped for these races, just almost as much as I do in real life. That's how seriously I take this. Oh, I've had another good start. Why, excuse me, sorry, why am I getting a warning for that? Why am I getting a warning for that? You've got front wing damage. Recommend you box for a new one. Oh, you are joking. Do you know what? No. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm not having that. He hit me. He hit me. I know I said if I crash, I'll take my medicine, but he hit me. Yeah, you stay back there, Vettel. boy. Ah, I don't like it. <laughs> Front wing damage. Yeah, warning. Collision with the Stafford. I had nowhere to go. I literally had nowhere to go then. Sorry, Lando. I'm going to have to leave you for dust here, mate. If I break early, I can just about get around the front of him. There we go. I thought that was him hitting me even then, but that was just me clipping the curb. I do have front wing damage, but I don't think it's too bad. I got a warning. I'm not getting punishment, although that was a bit. Uh. All right, we're looking good so far. I think I might get my front wing changed in the pit stop. question is, do I go for the undercut or the overcut with my pit stop? Right now, I genuinely don't know. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I thought it was going to be a lot worse then. I think fifth place is about as good as I'm going to get now, though. With my lack of front wing. And the fact that all the cars in front of me are just faster. I see Sebastian is now behind not only me, but Norris as well. Who's actually in front? Verstappen, Bottas, Ricardo, Hamilton. Actually, my front wing doesn't seem that bad. I think it was just because I'm heavily okay, laden clear. right now. Okay, some information on Magnussen. They're retiring from the race. Virtual safety car, virtual safety car. Reduce oh. speed immediately and keep a positive delta. Okay, yeah, yeah, slow yeah. down, slow down. Your delta is negative, which means you are too fast. Reduce your pace. I can't go much slower. I'm practically stationary. Yeah, look, now Lando's going to go past me when we get started again. I see to open a gap to Lando. Oh, your safety car is ending. Maintain your pace until the green flag. VSC ending. Wait for green. Wait for green. Come on, give me green. Yes. Now he's right behind me. Thank you, game. I hate race starts so much. They don't give you any room. 
If you're on Ascend, they should just let you. If this was GTA, I'd just be ramming people left, right and centre out of the way. And I know it's not GTA before anyone tells me. Oh, we've reached a worrying level of wear on the internal combustion engine. Let's try and keep the revs down. Early upshifts, later downshifts. I can't. I'm not in charge of that. That's not my department, Jeff. I just point and drive. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. Okay, so my delta to uh, Norris isn't as good as I'd like it to be. If I'm being completely honest. And my delta to Verstappen is also not ideal. Maybe I'll go for the undercut and then on fresh tyres and a nice front wing. Try and close the gap. We're accumulating some wear on the MGUK. To manage this, we'll need to lower our ERS deployment mode. Can't lower it anymore. It's already on one. Uh, it's not good. Green flag. Where was the yellow flag? Can I turn that? No, I can't. Okay, some information on Raikkonen. They are out of the race. Gap to car in front is 4.8 seconds. Virtual safety car, virtual safety car. Reduce speed immediately and keep a positive delta. Drop your speed. Our delta is too low. Could you not just give me an actual penalty. safety car? Slow your pace immediately. That would be nice. Actually, virtual safety car is a good time to hit. I think I've just missed my window, though. How is Verstappen now five seconds ahead? I'm going to get done by Lando at this rate. VSC ending, we're going green. Maintain positive delta until the green flags. Oh. Right, yep. You have a drive through penalty. You have been given a drive through penalty. This is just my racing career summed up so far, isn't it? So I've got to drive through the pits now. And that's literally drive through. I can't stop. I didn't think I was going too fast, to be honest. I didn't think I was going too fast. I didn't see what that said at the top of the screen there either. Talking about drive through penalty. Might as well serve it now and just get it over with. Is it actually going to stop me though? Oh, it's actually going to stop me. That's not what I wanted to do. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I don't know how to serve a drive through penalty. Go, go, go. Well, I'm just last right now. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, well, to answer my question from earlier, I'm going for the undercut. Why am I so shit? At least I'm catching up fairly fast. Okay, we're reaching a danger point with the wear on the MGUH. Overheating the engine will exacerbate the issue, so keep the temps under control. Don't cut corners, Mark. Don't cut corners. That's not how you get back into this.
How do I serve? Right, hang on. Sorry. I know I shouldn't be pausing the game whilst I'm racing, but I need to know how to serve a drive through penalty. Come on, laptop. Please don't go slow. Is it a radio command, maybe? Come on. Come on. Right. Let's see if it's here. Oh, people have contacted me on uh, Discord as well. How exactly do you serve your drive through penalty? Every time I go into the pit lane, the car just steers into the box for a tyre change. Um... Wait until the third lap, just before you get another penalty for entering the pit. Do I really want to risk that, though? No, is the answer. I don't want to risk that. Drive-through penalty. How? Oh, hang on. How do I serve drive-through penalty? This might do it. In your MFD HUD, whenever you have slight front wing damage and don't want it changed, you can find something along the lines of repair damage and change it from auto. No. What? Oh, there's, there's an option to not change tyres. I guess it's going to be that. Let me get on the pit straight. I think I have one more lap after this. And I'll have a look at the pit window. There's no option to not change tyres. I don't know how to serve my penalty. They better not DQ me. Some information on Aitken. They're slowing down. It seems like there's some kind of problem with their car. No, hang on. No, 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 no. I don't like this. I do not like this. Uh, change tyres. Bugged at the moment. It's a DQ. You get that penalty if it's given within the last three laps. I don't think I can. I don't think I can serve my penalty. There wasn't a safety car when I did it, was there? I'm just going to come into the pits again and see what happens. The gap to the car ahead is oh, 11.6 seconds. If you missed it just now on the radio, by the way, they were saying Jack's got a problem with his car. Probably the driver. I know the feeling. engine mode much longer. We're about a lap over target. Drop down to mix too soon. Can't slow down. I'm just going to come in again and see what happens. Oh. There we go. Pit stop time zero. Right. So I am serving my drive through penalty, it seems. Yes. Why didn't it do that the first time? That's annoying. Okay, I have a lot of time to make up now. I've got 10 laps to make up at least We're 25 seconds. By seconds. Aiken's got past Latifi, so his car can't be that broken. Front wing. It's always the front wing. Be nice to break the back wing for a change. 
be nice to not break any wing for a change. When was the last time I went without breaking a wing? I didn't break one in Japan, I don't think. Oh no, I did. Of course I did. I spun. Uh, I don't know then. Okay, there's a fair amount of wear to the engine now. Just be aware, we're keeping an eye on it. Shut up, Jeff. Stop talking. Yeah, I remember saying at the start of this I was going to be quiet in the opening lap, and then I uh, collided with Vettel. That went out the window. It's hard to stay quiet when I'm angry. Grosjean in the pits. I might be able to catch him. I might be able to catch him. I can't catch him. Wow, he's miles ahead. At least I can see him. That's a good point. I don't think anyone else has pitted yet. Maybe the front runners have, but no one else has. Full race update. We're sat at the back. Last place. Rojon is ahead of you. Our gap to the car in front is 23.9 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. Oh, Pit strategy uh... complete. See these tyres through to the end now. There are 10 I laps didn't, to go. I didn't exceed... Well, I did exceed track limits, but I certainly wasn't gaining an advantage from it, was I? It's a shame... Oh, that's going to be a... Okay. I thought that was going to be a penalty. It's a shame Grosjean couldn't race this weekend, but I think the right decision was made, ultimately. His hands... He was in no fit state to drive. And it could have caused more um, accidents and just made it worse for himself. So it was the right decision. I'd like to see him in a car again one day, but I mean, he could technically be a test driver next season. The car ahead is coming to fit the mediums. Car ahead, now running medium tyres. Jack's in the pit. Here we go. Jack is in the pit. Jack in the pit. I'm no longer last. I have the fastest Williams driver in the world in front of me as well, along with Grosjean. Oh, sugar. Okay, gap ahead is 2.2 oh, two seconds. We have to go lean for a bit. I'm pretty sure you get penalised for running out of fuel as well. Line. There we go. I was quite confident about overtaking on this track. Now I'm a bit nervous. Let's see if I can do Russell whilst by running on lean. Oh, I don't have DRS. No! It's getting away! We're leading our teammate by 5.3 seconds. It's my own stupidity that's cost me here. My own stupidity. Speeding under VSC, that's just a no-no. And send it. Uh, excuse me. George. They should give you points for overtakes. Alright, I'll go back to standard. He's got DRS, isn't he? Oh, that was all 
almost a sideways turn. Back out of that. I'm not. I'm not taking that gamble. No, no, no. Oh, that's cost me big time. Okay, now he's mine. Now he's mine. started to catch the car in front, but we need to look after the tyres. We won't be making another pit stop. No, couldn't do it. And my fuel's gone down again. No, nope, not going to be able to do it here either. of fuel remaining. There he is. See you later, Roman. And I got the DRS to get away from you too. Gap to car in front is 7.1 seconds. I do love how DRS works sometimes. I'm going to have a good long hard look at the start of the race again and just see at which point I should have backed out because I know I should have backed out you don't drive into the back of the car in front of you that's not on so there's somewhere something I should have realized that I wasn't going to get through backed out and not hit Verstappen not need a new front wing not be in a position where I have right, to pull away loss of power from the turbo charger from now. Lando. Loss of power on the turbo. And end up speeding under the VSC. It's a chain of events that all came from that opening lap. Giovinazzi I spy before me. It is, but I don't think I can catch him. It's the sad thing. Three laps and four seconds. Four and a half seconds now, technically. Send it into every corner and that might do it. Nah, I don't think I'm going to do it. A few remaining. I mean, that wasn't bad. Yeah. 
another little love tap. I've got no energy. I can't use my ERS. I think they're using DRS on each other. That's why the they're pulling away. The behind is 10.7 seconds. I blame Latifi. If it wasn't for Latifi, I would be on pole. That was the chain of events. No need to worry about tire condition for now. Everything's looking good. I wasn't. I'm within DRS. I'd like to think if I get one, I might get the other. But and they are, they're right there for the taking, aren't they? There's three of them, all lined up. Good job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. The problem is, Giovinazzi has DRS on Gasly, who probably has DRS on the car in front of him too, which is a racing point and is probably Stroll, so I doubt it's going to be Perez. Not in Mexico, anyway. That's like illegal for him to go slow in Mexico. So I'm going to have to be pretty tactful here and take them one at a time. Because this is the dictionary definition of a DRS train. A little bit of a wheel tap, but I don't mind that. Hello, Pierre. your turn. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Yeah, he's strong. Uh, my DRS can't catch him. We have the same engine as well, which doesn't help. It's not quite how you do that corner, but I'll take it. Stroll next. I'm not going to get the points, but this is a bloody good recovery, I'm telling you. Whoops, that was really slow. on you all over the place again. The gap to the car ahead is 1.8 seconds. Oh, confetti. I was wondering what the hell was going on here. This is a bit distracting to all the other drivers, don't you think? Bloody confetti cannons going off when you're trying to do the hardest corner on the circuit. Oh, uh, for 14th. I need to 13th, then 14th. Race over. Take care of the car on the way in. All right, race over. Uh, let's see if there's any penalties ahead of me. You never know. That's a spectacular victory, then, and with it, the championship is secure. It's been a magnificent season, and they thoroughly deserve the cheers of the crowd here today. Talk to me. What do you think it was that sealed the win for them? I'd say it was down once again to good, consistent driving. Nailing the corners, working to the track conditions, and perfecting the team's strategies. They got all of these things right today, and the results speak for themselves.
After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. Nice little level up there. Ocon driver of the day as well. I need to see where he finished, but I think he does. He, I think he does deserve Let's it. Let's see how the driver standings have changed. It's a great result for Lewis Hamilton, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. Now let's discuss Ants. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? Well, for me, it's got to be Lewis Hamilton. The multiple world champion may be the boring choice at this point, but you can't argue that he's a driver deserving of his reputation. The constructors' championship may be a foregone conclusion at the moment, but regardless, let's look at the standings. It's another clear win for Mercedes as they managed to secure the Constructors' title. An incredible performance for the whole team. Meanwhile, good work from Racing Point this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. Well, Ants, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. Hmm. I mean, Ocon recovered a fair few places, nearly finished in the points. Ten places he, he went up. But then you've got someone like Al... Actually, no, he's only gone up two. Never mind. You can't give it to Hamilton. He started on first, for Christ's sake. Uh, there's Charlie. So he's going to be, le I think, level with me again in the rivalry. I'm a point ahead of him at the moment. Uh, but yeah, I don't want to dwell on this one too much, to be honest. It's another first re first lap incident that's cost me the race. Um, we'll see it again in the highlights momentarily. But until then, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you're enjoying the series, drop some comments down below. Let me know what an idiot I am. Besides all that, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to the channel, thank you guys for your support. Enjoy the highlights. You can tell I want to get this video over and done with pretty quickly. And until next time, I will see you soon.